Good morning everyone, this is Star Trek Fleet Command Morning Coffee Stream, and it is Tuesday, and I hope you're having a wonderful Tuesday. It is awful early in the morning for me to be able to determine that kind of stuff, just want to say. <laughs> Alrighty, um, let's uh, let's get busy with some pulls. See what the dailies have for us. Although they're called dailies because they don't change. Hey, Alpha. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I am doing wonderful. I hope you are. Did you have a uh, pleasant Mother's Day Sunday? Oh, okay. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, I chatted with my uh, mother on um, Sunday afternoon. She's about um, five hours away from me. So it would have been a long drive. Norwich. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Norwich. I appreciate you being here. On auger, I need an auger BP. Ooh, there we go. Oh wow. Hmm. I don't know where I got all those from. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I've got, oh uh, man, I have got to mine some ISO.
hate looking at these pips. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna cycle through this mess and get rid of all of them I can. Good Lord. Pip City. I don't think I have, nope, I definitely do not. Okay. And do not have enough for that either. Okay, awesome. There, uh, so as most everybody knows by now, there is an event store. And I unlocked Hoshi recently. I think it was yesterday, actually. Yesterday or Sunday? I think it was yesterday. And I've unlocked Nurse Chapel. For each one of those, I think I started with like uh, 20, 20 shards. Flux, uh, yeah, I'm not even close. <laughs> Mopinga, he's closer than Flux, I think. And of course, Sam Kirk, and he's another one that's, I'm not even close. Um, so get them while you can in the event store um, if you are 
going for the trivia questions in here, I do have, obviously, do have the answers. Uh, ping me. Um, if you're still stuck. The very first one I looked and I did not, I couldn't find a reference to, I think it's the name of the ship. So, uh, no, I thought it was the name, but it's the type. Anyway, um, if you need the uh, if you need the trivia answers, ping ping me. Um, let me look through here. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, I am. Now that I have Spock reset, let me um, let me switch ships. Uh, let's put this one on here. I just need to get to the officers. Um, I'm going to take her off. And put my meridian out. And I'm going to go ahead and Send. Should have some three star in here somewhere. That is the wrong stuff. That's what I expected. Okay, cool. All right, that's on its way. Um, oh. Let's see if there's anything to double up. Any buildings. That seems loud to me. Why is that loud? Ah, that's why. Somebody's up early this morning. Who are you? Bolt. Uh, 
I'm going to go ahead and do some officer pulls real quick while we're waiting on Frankie to get there. Save those for Friday. Who do I not have unlocked? GG. I need GG unlocked. That would be nice. Joel. Ooh, hammer would be nice too. Forgot that one he does. Holy hell, increase armor, shield, deflection, and dodge by 800% of health. <laughs> Oh, me. Guess when you're attacking survey ships. Great for raiding, I guess. Oh, got a lot of common. Oh, okay. Rep grinding. All right. I don't think I've ever had him. It's obviously locked right now from, from me, but... This is not my first time at this particular rodeo, <clears throat> and I don't think I've ever had him. I'm a, I am avoiding, <laughs> I hate to admit this, but I am avoiding Okay, Gay Harrisil, I'm going to murder that name of yours. Thank you for the follow. I really appreciate it. Really, really appreciate it. Um, I'm a, I am currently avoiding the grind to, I think it's a billion or something, for the next level of lock. If I unlock, uh, unlock him or maybe I'll give it a shot. I was grinding pretty hard to get to the uh, 10 million for all three factions. It was definitely a pain. <clears throat> because at the same time I was grinding the Franklin and grinding the Vidar. <laughs> It just never ended. Good morning, Justin. How are you? Hope you're doing well today.
Death Carol, good morning. All of my favorite people are here with me this morning. Welcome in. Thank you for being here. Who was I trying to unlock? Three. There we go. Three of eleven. Or, oh, nice. Three of eleven. Ten more shards. Awesome. Got my eye on you, Missy. <laughs> yeah, I've already been through all this. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, we're we're expecting two days of rain where I am. I, uh, I hope everybody uh, who can, who hears me, watches, whatever, is safe and sound because there's some horrible storms going through the U.S. right now. Oh, wow. Wow. Very nice. Congrats. Is that your first or the last uh, lock at one billion? You have the other two already? Forget for board stage dreamer. Sorry, I, I am that horrible with names so I hope I'm, I'm close thank you for the follow thank you very much I really appreciate it um, last one billion I was, oh I'm so jealous That is awesome. <clears throat> Pay attention, this dude is going to get whacked if I don't. Let me uh, open the top to my work computer just so I can see the clock. Um, it's, easy, it's easier on an old person <laughs> when I don't have to do this <laughs> to see a clock. Oh, oh yeah, that's that's why I'm currently avoiding that task. Ah, uh, okay, nice. Abigail, yeah, right now it's a uh, it's a uh, monster in the basement. <laughs> Tell me, one billion lock is a uh, monster in the basement that I'm avoiding. <laughs> I know it's going to be long and painful.
And Justin, you said that there's a uh, oh, what did you call it? Because um, I rarely, rarely, rarely use them. Are you using the exocomp for your uh, for a boost? Iconic speak. Thank you for the follow. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all the follows this morning. Um, oh, wow. Death speak, congrats. Or death, excuse me, death kill. Sorry. Um, you're a 15 billion trilock. Five hundred billion is next. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I can't say that I blame you. Where are we at here? Let me um let me go check this real quick. Let's see if anybody moved into uh, the territory and I didn't notice. I'm going to take a quick time out on the field, let this bad boy hit 105k, and then I'm going to send it home. You know, and now that you mention it, I have the amalgam, I do use it, and I know that it gives you at least two. Um, what am I looking for? Here. Gives you ever two. Exos. The, the only one I ever pay any attention to is this one. So let me look back through them. Ah, here we go. Klingon, Fed, and Romulan. Okay. Well, I'll have to remember that when I uh, start grinding out that billion. Yeah, from uh, for me, the officer I'm pulling with uh, Amalgam <clears throat> uh, Rewards is uh, Wharf, but I can't remember if that's, I don't think it's on, on a guard to Wharf, it's, I don't think. Um, but I know I'm getting Wharf shards from that thing. I just don't think it's honor guard. I'd have to I don't think it's ready yet. Let me take a look real quick. No, it's not ready. I got another two days. Yeah, what I, I tend to do, um, as you can tell, is when I trigger the amalgam for that 9900 whatever percent increase in pulls. I grind the crap out of it for like <clears throat> 12 million, 14 million. I think the last time I did it was 14 million. The first time I did it was like 20. Uh, because I find I can, so what I do is I send a ship in to kill the um, 31 um, battleships. And then I send the miner in to collect when the uh, survey ships pop. And then I just run them back and forth, but I keep the uh, 
enterprise in the system killing the uh, battleships as fast as they pop or as fast as I can <clears throat> but uh, that's the way I do it that way I only have to do the the amalgam loop uh, once a week that's that's my goal is always keep that loop going but for a week at a week of stuff at a time Excuse me. <coughs> that way I don't have to uh, do the daily. Uh, doing grinding daily drives me crazy. If I can do, spend one day or an hour or two and grind out a week's worth of stuff, I am a happy camper. you back on the node. Let's see here. Whoops. Did I, did I go past it? Nope. There it is. All right. do this while I'm thinking about it. Yeah, I uh, I can't can't blame you there. I uh, I wish I could uh, abandon this Franklin <laughs> Franklin loop, loop that I'm in, but I need the points for the dailies. <laughs> I don't have the Franklin A yet. I think I have to go to 35 for that, and I'm just not ready for that. I've got too many researches uh, that I still have to do, and my Researchers are getting jammed up by resource, uncommon resources, which is jamming up my um, enterprise. But I finally got the bad boy to, up to tier five. Um, but I want I I always try to tier my ship so that I can get this fourth officer slot open. And you need to be, you have to have your ship up to level 30, tier 6, level 30. As most of you know, who are way in advance of my level. Um, and I am starved for gas, uncommon gas. Haunted Spore, thank you so much for the follow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate all the follows this morning. Really appreciate it. Um, so, uh, 
resource constraint. It's a it's a uh, evil plan. It's an evil plan by Scopely to keep you resource starved. <laughs> it's a joke. It's also uh, a serious <laughs> a serious comment because they want you to think you know spending money makes their world go around so they can continue development. So I can't say that uh, they're not smart business people, <laughs> but when you're uh, trying to play this game and you're resource constrained, it's a pain in the butt. <laughs> Let's see here, Justin, you said, um, when you hit Ops 38 and unlock the export faction, those sweet Researches temporarily make you like so much easier. <laughs> oh, we. I wish they had a uh, a um. What am I trying to say? A loop for gaming on uncommon. In which I do collect uncommons. I mean, uh, they're just, it's a, it is definitely a drip. Oh my God, it's a drip. The, the, you can get them during the Battle Pass events, which I wait <laughs> for those things to come around so I can get my stuff. You can also get them through Genial Analg Analgesic. Welcome in. Thank you for the follow. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and if I'm ax murdering your name when I'm trying to pronounce it, it's early in the morning and I'm sorry. <laughs> um, the, let's, oh, you can get it from the treasury. Um, whether you spend the 99 bucks for the treasury or you save up your broken desealing rods and open it up every, uh, I'm going to call it six months. It's a little bit more than that. Um, but the, um, treasury is the second best way to get your stuff. You can um, um, scrap. You can scrap, and if you look at the ship that it's going, you're scrapping. It's before you say yes. I am definitely sure I want to get rid of this ship. Um, it'll tell you what the rewards will be when it's finished scrapping. The problem I don't scrap a whole lot, and I know that's stupid, but. <laughs> In general, it takes so long to scrap something that it's, it's just a pain because, so, it takes a long time. It takes, a, it takes resources to get your ship that you're going to scrap maxed out. When you scrap it, you don't get back the materials you put into it. Uh, not even close. I, uh, somebody told me that might be half. I'm not sure. Maybe more, a little more than half, but it's definitely not one for one. Uh, so if you didn't have the uh, materials to begin with, you're not <laughs> you're not going to get them replaced. The ones you burned are not going to be replaced. Now, the best deal in the scrapyard, and not all ships do this is when you can, and I think the Envoy is one of these, where you can scrap something that costs you two star parts and get three star parts back. That's that's a good deal. And I believe that the Envoy is the ship that does that for you. It's a, or it's at least one of the ships. There's also one from three to four. Yeah. Yeah. So the, the uh, I'm trying to think if I remember. I want to say maybe the Mayflower is a three to four star conversion ship, but 
check it out. Don't don't believe uh, an old man's faulty memory. Just just saying. Um, is suspect at best. <laughs> at least that's what my wife tells me. So Death Kill, you're saying that the Mayflower is a three to star to four star conversion? Okay, thank you, Justin. I did remember the, the uh, uh, envoy. I didn't remember the tourists in the Fendra in Tala. I don't know that I've ever made Flower D3 illusionary. Okay. Um. Trying to think what I was going to say. Burnt that bang, brain cell. Can y'all smell it burning? <laughs> um, oh, I was saying that I don't think I've ever scrapped the Tourist Defender or the Tala. For whatever reason, I punish myself by going for the Envoy. <laughs> I don't know why I put a bagel in my good morning message. Let me, for those of you who are, are just now following me, uh, I've told this once before. It's been oh my, um, six months to a year. One of the things that I did in my career as a programmer is I wrote the code for the Phil Donahue show and if you're not, if you didn't go through the 80s you may not know who that is and uh, all that stuff so the show office was in the uh, time at the time it was called the Warner Communications Building and Mr. Donahue's office was in the NBC building now I'm getting to the point here quickly so I, being a southern young man, I grew up on biscuits and never heard of, much less ever tried, a bagel. And the person that I was working with in the show, in the uh, Warner Communications building, one Zelvin Curtis by name, Zell told me he had a surprise for me on my next trip up. I would go up, I would write the code, um, in the uh, in the office where I was uh, living at the time, not in New York, and I would bring it to New York to install it. <laughs> so I come up the next time, go straight to Zell's desk, and tell him I'm I'm here and I'm going to put some stuff on, and uh, he needs to be available to test it. He says, he says, oh yeah, I promised you a surprise the next time you came up. So he picks up this brown paper bag and he opens it up and says, reach in there and grab you one. <laughs> I reach in that bag and pull out something that looks like a donut. It's like this, this thing is huge, just like this big round. <laughs> and I said, what is this, Zell? He says, it's a bait. I said, a bagel? He said, yeah. He said, give it a try. Now, it was a plain bagel. I didn't know they came in different flavors, and he just brought in a plain bagel. I bit into that bagel and started chewing. And the more I chewed, <laughs> it was like chewing an oyster. 
Envious FR, thank you, thank you, thank you for the follow. I really, really appreciate it. So it was like chewing on an um, oyster. The more I chewed, the bigger this thing got. So I got it chewed down just enough that I could speak without him seeing the food in my mouth. And I said, I'll be right back. I got to the bathroom. So I take that bagel. I go to the bathroom. I dump that thing in there and bury it <laughs> in hand towel. Spit the rest of it out. Wash my hands. The nice thing about the show office is there's multiple ways to get out of the office and downstairs. And downstairs in the more communications building uh, are a bunch of shops. And so it's all kinds of shops, restaurants, that kind of stuff. So I go back the back way to the elevator. I go downstairs. I go into the, a little shop and order coffee and I'm sitting in that shop and I realize that if anybody from the show sees me in that shop they're gonna squeal <laughs> so I got to get up and start wandering down the bottom floor <laughs> of the work communications building and <laughs> so I stayed down there about 30 minutes and then I come back up and go to the sales desk and let him know I finished the I finished the bagel, which was true. It was true, but not in the way that that, <laughs> that statement might have implied. And then I'm going to start my install. I, I do the install, and um, he says, "You know, there's two or three more if you." I said, "Whew, Dazelle, I you know I'm full. I uh, I can't do it." That. That was the first time Country Boy had a bagel. And I swear to you, that is a true story. 30 minutes wandering around the bottom floor of the Warner Communications Building. And first and last time with a bagel. Now, what I have learned since that episode is that, number one, toast them. <laughs> Toast them. Number two, grab the cream cheese, whatever flavor floats your boat, <laughs> and spread that all over it. Because those bad boys are something else. And I also, now that I've had two of my adult children go through culinary school, I know that in the process of making that bagel, that they boil the dough first and then bake it. Ah, Justin. Yeah, I've, I've had the cinnamon and raisin. Well, I have had a bite of the cinnamon and raisin and the flavor is, is much, much better to uh, uh, have for breakfast than the... Um, plain one that Zale brought me. My, my, I don't know why, my kids love them. Uh, lethal Overs, thank you for the follow. I really, really appreciate it. You have no idea. Thank you, thank you guys very much for the follows this morning. Um, So that's that's my story of the bagel. That's my bagel story. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, my <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> My oldest daughter lives in New York now, in uh, Brooklyn, and uh, and she hates it. The, what's so funny? She moved there for job opportunities. She's uh, she contracts, and um, she's making money. But she 
currently always has, and I don't understand this, hates snow and cold weather. So she, she, she moved to Brooklyn and for a job opportunity. And I was like, well, she moved to New York and specifically Brooklyn. But I was like, why are you doing this, honey? <laughs> you don't like the snow and you don't like cold weather. Now, the, the funniest personal story about moving somewhere and the frivolity that followed, my current employer, I was an admin for their systems. They brought me in because I could tune hardware. I, well, can't still tune hardware, you don't forget, but they were having issues and they brought me in to tune their stuff or at least take a look at it and see if it can be tuned. Sometimes it can't be tuned. You don't have the resources you need. So there was this guy who kept running programs that would tie up the system, that would just throw every meter on the system into the red. And he was a contractor. <laughs> so of course, late one night, well, after working hours, not that late, but it's like seven o'clock. This, this dude's program is going, it's out of control. It's, it's hogging. So I'm getting ready to leave and Op says, hey, this program is eating up the system. Something's, we can't do anything. So I take a look out there and of course it's, uh, it's my buddy. So I call, call his phone. And he, and he fortunately answers. He's monitoring job. He's, and he's saying, yeah, I see that, blah, blah, blah. And while I'm talking to this dude, I hear the sound of waves crashing on the beach. Thank you, that's kill. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate you lurking. So, so I, I asked this dude, I said, are you at the beach? And he said, yeah. And I said, you're, you on vacation? He went, no, I live here. I went, where are you? He said, Puerto Rico. I said, I said, you are working for, uh, from Puerto Rico. I said, are you at home? Is that where this is? Yeah. He said, I got the doors open. You can hear the ocean and I'm working. And I said, they let you do that? <laughs> and he said, yeah, I've been doing this for over a year. He says, that's kind of my uh, my requirement. I have to be able to work from home. I was like, oh my God. How, how, did, how did I miss this? How, how, how? I want to be like you when I grow up. I want, to, I want to be able to work from home sitting at the beach or in the mountains or anywhere but where I'm at right now. <laughs> Woo, crit. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is there another one? Yeah. Okay. Piss Pathel, thank you for the follow. I really, really, really appreciate you following me. Thank you, thank you for all the followers this morning. I really appreciate it.
Miro. Okay, should have done that. Come on. Nope, 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 nope. Avex, there we go. Now what did I unlock? Nothing I won't submit. Okay. That's done. Oh wow. Can't bl cannot believe I got away with that. That's crazy. Um, let's go to Groombridge. Let me check the officers, make sure. Yep, yeah, okay. And I believe it. That rating got away with imp or clearing that node. Um, I think my meridian is somewhere around 90. 90k before it goes over, goes OPC. Let's see, I have Oh, it's <laughs> I was talking about the event store and I didn't finish. Um Check out the officers. If you don't have them unlocked, try to at least try to get uh, Nurse Chapel unlocked. She uh, she is a big deal to have below decks. Um, this format that they've switched to, I don't like. They used to give you um, several arcs of officers that you could choose from because it's not uncommon for you to be missing two shards, uh, five, ten, whatever, from a from an arc where they introduce new officers and you didn't didn't complete it. Um, not crazy about this. They did this last last time they did a uh, event store. Not a big fan. Um, if you're needing a ship, they loaded this bad boy up. Uh, <laughs> they give you lots to choose from. Um, but I would definitely check out the officers first before you come looking for ships. But the reason I'm in here is because I, I know, I have bought the jellyfish one time <clears throat> early in the... <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Um, early in my uh, start of my uh, gaming with Scopely and Star Trek Fleet Command, 50 bucks for a ship that lasts you at most uh, six levels, six ops levels. 
uh, was not worth it. So if I if you see me now with this thing, it's because I got it for free in the event store. Um, it is good for the bold defense. There is uh, there is a way to uh, incorporate your uh, jellyfish. I believe that it has to be max, but I won't swear to that. Um, but the cool thing about the jellyfish is that, oh, it doesn't tell you here. The it's around fifty percent. So the jellyfish, baby jellyfish, uh, boosts your captain's ability by around 50%, like 52, 50 or 52, something like that. Oh, Justin, cool. Yeah, I um, got chapel. I got, I was, I kind of did this out of order. The uh, Hoshi, I had her, I needed like five or seven. I want to say maybe it was seven. Seven shards to unlock her. Uh, Flox is definitely on my list. And as you can tell, I've done a little bit of spend here with the uh, game currency. Um, but Flox is definitely on my list to unlock if it's at all possible. Um, I did get the jellyfish it's currently tier five maybe something like that i think it maxes out at tier seven um and my other favorite ship that i'm working on is the auger i don't have many yeah i'm at 18 on the auger and i think I pulled one from the um, away team store this morning. One chart, one BP. So, but if I were, if I'm going to do a ship, that's the one I'm going to do is the uh, auger. Uh, but as I said before, definitely the officers are. Where is Flox? There he is. Ah, uh, he's over fifty. He's over fifty. So, oh, I should be able to pull five shards of Phlox today, if I were going to spend it today. I think I'm going to hold on to what I have, keep letting them build up. Um, ship parts, kind of a, the only, I do have the Voyager, this is not necessary, oh no, 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 17, that's not a good exchange, I was about to say, this is not a bad deal, but yes, it is a bad deal, <laughs> scopely made it that way, but if you are close to being able to tear it, it's it's probably worth it, but I'm not. I'm nowhere close. Um, bad deal. I've got at least two million of these things. Um, I think, oh, amalgam, let's see. You know, I'm trying to, I think, my pulls being random somewhere around 2500 for my three day pull or whatever cycle that thing is on. Um, that actually may be worth pulling, but again, these, these exchanges really are usually pretty horrible. Um, so I would say not worth it unless you have, um, uh, you're close to being able to tear your amalgam. I would hold off. Um, what else is in here? Yeah, 
once again, not a very, very good exchange, but if you're close to being able to either unlock a component or upgrade a component or tear up, it might be worth it. I actually have used this before uh, for my um, discovery uh, because I was close. I think I, what did I spend? These don't normally change. I did this twice. Yeah, 400, 400 uh, spore drive component pieces. So what did I, 10, it's uh, 11, 8, so I spent 11,800 game currency for 400 spore drops. Yes, that is a stupid thing to do, but I wanted that component upgrade. I think I was upgrading a component. Uh, this, no, it's definitely not worth it. The, 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 the Devore is the easiest thing in the game to upgrade, in my opinion. Um, you don't even have to try to get this thing to level up and to tear up, level up. Um, really, really easy. Um, what do we have? Shift refit. Now this is my, this is my least favorite section. I almost never buy the stuff. I, um, uh, or get it in any way. The one, the refract refractive beam may be worthwhile. Maybe. Yeah, here we go. This one may make it worthwhile. Uh, somebody fact check me on this. I think if you buy this, you don't have to have it on a ship to get the benefits, to get the penetration stats uh, increase of 20%. I think all you have to do is pick it up. The, prob the problem is it costs 75 shards to unlock it. So that's, that's a, probably an entire event, event worth of game currency. So you're going to spend all your currency just unlocking this thing. <clears throat> ah, thank you, Justin. Yeah, I thought I remembered that you didn't have to actually um, equip it. I'm not even sure you can equip it. But anyway, uh, once you unlock it, you get the benefit. I, it's just not worth this, in my opinion. There are better ways there are, there are epic officers <laughs> that you can spend your your stuff on um same with the uh cosmetics i'm not really into the cosmetics thing this dude is cool but that's i don't there's nothing appealing in here i know this is individual tastes uh, oh, let me check this. Let me see if this came back. Nope. Four more days. Good gracious. Air conditioning. Level four, L4, I4, L4. I think it's L4. Thank you for, for the follow. Thank you so very much. Thank you, everyone, for following this morning. Um, I really appreciate that. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, gas. I need gas desperately. So I've got four more days to wait before I can pull this again. Um, and as you can see, I am hoarding resources. So <clears throat> some, sometimes you can hoard resources and you get to keep them from one month to the next. Some things like the event store currency that we, you have to spend it all, find something to get rid of it before uh, time runs out. I did that to myself once. It was on when they first released Picard. Whatever month and event that was, I didn't realize that it wasn't going to be there when I felt like going back out and redeeming that stuff. I didn't know they cut that off. I went out there to redeem all the currencies for Picard and I couldn't. 
<laughs> I was like, what happened? So, word to the wise, before the, the little timers run down, <laughs> make sure you go out there and redeem your stuff. That, the point being, this one for the Apex uh, Outlaw with uh, Khan's shiny face on it, they don't expire. They roll over one month to the next. So if you're saving up for something, they'll be here. Um, couldn't imagine what that would be. I don't know. I just, anyway, I have plenty of currency to be able to pick these or unlock these hijacked ships. I'm not going to. You can't uh, cloak them and you cannot scratch, scrap them. I don't think you can scrap them. Once you own them, you got them. Uh, it was TNG Picard. Um, it wasn't Pick or E. It was TNG Picard. Yeah, I got stuck. I, I think I still have that currency. As far as I know, they haven't removed it. Um, If I knew what it was called, I could find it. I know it's in here. Um, anyway, not not important, but uh, don't get don't pull a glimmer. Glimmer glam screwed up. Make sure you redeem all, excuse me, I'm so sorry. Um, make sure you redeem all your game currency that you uh, that you have on you. Um, you may be uh, redeeming stuff that's not the best um, exchange to zero out if you can. But definitely officers first. Um, let me, let me check, see if it's in other. You can see all this leftover currency, but what? Let me see. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna run through here real quick and see if I see it. There it is. Look at this. 44.4k Chateau Picard coins. I got stuck with. Because I'm an idiot. <laughs> So I'm trying to save you guys from doing stupid crap like this. I had I was agonizing. I know what happened. I was agonizing over something. What uh, which is better, you know, coin toss. What what do I need to do? And when I finally just made my decision and went in to redeem, Glimmer got stuck. Now, I'm not sure if I remember, again, I'm an old man. I'm not sure if I'm remembering, but I believe this was for the TNG Picard event. I could be, somebody will have to Google that and see if it will tell you what arc that was part of. But I think that was the worst one uh, where I screwed up. So don't do this. Don't do this. Pick arc last year. I have 
have 44k of them. And I think the thing is, I did redeem some. That that was not all of them that I had collected. I think it was just over 100k of those things. But um, I got stuck holding the bag on the rest of them. Yeah, uh, as far as I know, they never use event currency more than once. <laughs> I'm, I, I have to be honest, I'm surprised that they are so creative. Because if it were me, I would probably run some kind of event currency conversion to something that you can't redeem and pile them all into one and then re-release -re on a 12-month cycle and event currency um, but that's my lazy programmer mind um, talking Uh, I wished I only had Screen jump because I clicked attack or if it jumped, I don't know. Seemed like there was a, a, a big jump for some reason, which I find annoying. <laughs> to be honest, go please stop that crap. Um, I don't know. It's been probably a year when they implemented that jumping feature that I don't particularly care for. I'm not sure why. I'm sure the uh, coders were trying to fix a problem. Probably getting off the uh, off the map would be my guess. So it resets itself. But it's uh, an annoying piece of coding. see where I'm at here. Yeah. I'm not going to finish that up. Sorry, I'm talking to myself because the witching hour for me uh, to log into work is getting close.
think I... One more to go. Let's go. Ahead. Yep. Let's go ahead and start that. I forgot about you. Oh, okay. It's like, what is that? <laughs> what did I do? Got it. <sighs> Alright, I was hoping to finish this uh, up, this daily up, before I had to call it a day, and uh, I'm running out of time. Um, so, let me say again, uh, for those of you who are new followers this morning, thank you, thank you, thank you. I really, really appreciate it. I did not expect to get so many follows this morning, and uh, I really, really appreciate it. Um, my schedule is up to date. I will check it again after I uh, end the stream, but I'll ch check the schedule. See you, Justin. Thank you for stopping in. Appreciate the chat. Death kills. Appreciate the chat. Uh, who else? Adva, thank you, thank you, thank you for uh, the chat this morning. And Norwich, thank you for logging in and uh, being with me this morning. Uh, I appreciate all of you in my chat and all the follows. And I am going to call it there. You guys have a great rest of your Tuesday. And, uh, Again, the schedule's up to date, um, so feel free to join me anytime. Take care.